Hello everyone! This video is a quick overview of how to use the OptiFilm digitizer to digitize 35mm film strips or 35mm mounted slides. You will need a USB drive to save your images. Before you start scanning, give the file a name by clicking into the file name box. You're going to want to erase what's there and give it a name you will remember. You also need to make sure it is being saved to your USB drive. So click on the three dots and choose the USB drive. You also can choose the format. You can have 24 or 48 bit, and you can use JPEG, TIFF, PNG, or Windows bitmap. The digitizer has two trays. One is designed for film strips and has a lid which lifts up to hold the strip in place. And one is designed for mounted slides, which has slots for four slides. The first one I'll show you is the film strip tray. As part of the digitization station, we have a light table. This aids in choosing films or slides to digitize. Once you choose your strip, put it in the tray so that the pictures line up with the frames. Using the arrow for guidance, insert the tray into the digitizer. I'm digitizing a negative, so I choose negative on the digitizer and negative on the software. Do not force the tray in, but insert it gently until it engages. On the computer, hit the scan button. It takes some time to scan. I have sped up the video for time. Do not push the tray. When the film is scanned and processed, the pictures will pop up on the computer. At this point, you may do some editing to improve the images. Choose the image you want to manipulate and click on the edit screen. There are three ways you can view the image as you edit. You can have one copy of the image up and it will show the changes you make. You can have two copies of the image up and one will stay as scanned and the other will show the adjustments. Or you can have one image that is split in half so one half shows the changes. I like to use two images. There are a number of different things you can do to edit. For this one, I had to rotate it. And then I wanted to play with the contrast, brightness, and saturation. You can move the sliders around as much as you want and the image will not be saved as changed until you hit the apply button. Make sure you save. When you're done editing that batch of photos, you can do another. When you do mounted slides, it is the same process with the exception of how you put the pictures into the tray. Again, you can use the light table to, to choose which slides you'd like to digitize.
To insert the slides in the tray, push one edge against the wiggly side. It acts like a spring. And then get it underneath the tabs so that it will hold itself in place. Again, you're going to use the arrow to determine how to put the tray in. This is a positive, so you're going to make sure the positive is chosen. And then you're going to hit scan. Again, I have sped it up for time. Now you can choose the image you'd like to edit. And then make the changes that you need to make. Be sure to click apply. After hitting apply, you can go up and hit the view button so that you can choose another photo to edit.